big jobs number, but the events in Russia are trumping all of them. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update for Friday, the 4th of March. And whew, what a day. What a day is all I can say. It's, it's been since last night, since the reopen last night, the markets have been under pressure. They've had a couple of attempts at trying to rally, and those have failed miserably. Doesn't mean they won't come back later, but certainly at the moment, they look extremely ugly. And of course, with the uncertainty in Russia, what's going on, and uh, the uh, the fire around the nuclear reactor is causing a lot of heartburn, besides the fact that the markets were weak going in. And of course, if you trade long enough, you know one thing for sure. Markets always need a reason to sell off. Even if they were going to sell off anyways, they, they need a catalyst. And it looks like the Russia may be the catalyst for this market for the moment. In the meantime, as we take a look around the board, the Dow is down 500. The Russell's down to the Nasdaq is down 200. S&P is down 60, and we're short all three of those. Then the Russell's down 300, and we're, down, we're long that one. So uh, not bad. Can't complain there. And, of course, gold is up about 20 bucks, uh, flying nicely. I'm looking to go to the next level, and silver's up nicely, which we are long both. Platinum is over 1,100, which, of course, if we were trading it, and it would be, we would be long that as well. Uh, crude oil is only up $6. Okay, 11, 1114 almost. I mean, you know, again, I'm going 1114, dollars a barrel. I mean, I really, I mean, again, it's going higher. New highs, maybe all time new highs here because, of course, our administration is as ignorant as you can possibly get and refuses to allow us to create and use our own oil, which we have here. But why, why should we not get ripped off and be involved in all this when we could be producing our own and actually profiting it from it worldwide? But that would be silly. Okay. In the meantime, um, uh, the dollar is, is higher and we're long. Of course, you figure that the dollar looks like it's going back to par now with all this fear in the market. Uh, Bitcoin is lower and we are long. Uh, the uh, copper markets are popping once again, getting close to that $5 level. We're still long there. Natural gas, we're long and that's higher. That's getting near five bucks as well. Uh, in the bond markets, our bonds and notes are flying. And of course, we're long both bonds and notes. A lot of fear trading going on right now. So, you know, again, we'll see where it all shakes out eventually. But right now, I mean, again, you got, you got the market on the run. The VIX is flying as well. It's at about 34. So uh, in the meanwhile, grain markets continue to be unbelievable. Okay, corn up limit. We're still long. Uh, beans up 15 cents. Wheat up limit for the third day in a row. And if you look at the options model, they're pricing in limit up on Monday. Now, again, that can, that can change. But right now, uh, limit up is where they are. And of course, we're still long. So it's been pretty good, pretty good trading the grains right now. And of course, in the meats and the protein complex, we're short them all. Uh, fat feeder cattle are almost down four, four and a half bucks, which we're short. Hogs are down three and a half bucks, we're short. And fat cattle is down two bucks and we're short. Now, again, those are natural. The hogs are probably under a little bit more pressure than you would think. But, you know, again, with these high prices of oil, it's going to take away from the ability to buy beef. And they're going to hog the next white meat, and then it may be chicken. And then it might be powdered protein because people's budgets are going to come into play here. And the softs, uh, cotton is uh, f- flat to slightly lower. We're short. Coffee's higher. We're short. Sugar is higher. We're long. Cocoa is higher. Uh, we are short. And OJ is flat, and we are long. Again, it's a, it's a crazy day. It, this could be this could really get clobbered, or we could see some some comeback. This is going to be all based on the, the feelings of of investors and traders. But I think I would I would give you one warning here. Okay, it's the weekend. Okay, and with the uncertainty and what's going on in Russia. Okay, I would find it hard to believe that people would want to go home long this weekend. Now again, I could be wrong, so I'm not I'm not telling you to do anything. That it doesn't fit with the price action. We will be short, obviously, because we're we're short now. So, but again, at the end of the day, I just it'd be hard to imagine that people would want to go home long. Not that they're going home short, but I think that you'd see you might see a little bit more selling, and you might sit accelerate it later. In the meantime, remember my sponsors, okay, Capital Trading Group, Tradier, and uh, Strategic Wealth, plus our high school program. Those are all on the bottom. 
And tomorrow I'm doing a, a webinar for hedging. And, you know, again, you should have been hedging all along, but I'm doing it again tomorrow. So make sure you check it out. In the meantime, have a great day, everybody. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Sunday with Bubba's Bob Line. In the meantime, this is Bubba's Daily Update for Friday, the 4th of March. We'll see you on, on Sunday, everybody. Have a great day.